Welcome to the Pronunciation Channel. My name is Mike Tatanen. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the flap, um, represented sometimes by a capital D. In North American English, there's a variety of the T sound called a flap. It sounds like a fast D sound. A, a T sound is pronounced as a flap if there's a stressed vowel before the T, and there's an unstressed vowel after the T. So here are some examples. City, okay? So the vowel before the T is stressed and the vowel after is unstressed. It's possible to say city, but this would be very, very careful pronunciation if you're American or Canadian. Um, it's not wrong to say city, uh, but for Canadians and Americans, we almost always say city. So it's important uh, for your listening to understand that. Okay, so there's the second example, uh, citizen. First vowel is stressed before the T, and then the vowel after is unstressed. So it's okay to say citizen. It's not wrong, uh, but it's very unusual uh, to say it. Uh, it would be very slow careful pronunciation to say citizen. It's almost always citizen, okay? So then I have some other examples. Italy, you can also say Italy, but usually we say Italy. Uh, patio, uh, it's okay to say patio, but usually say patio. Uh, patty or patty. So the spelling there with two T's makes no difference to the pronunciation, it's just patty. Uh, tomato, or tomato, potato, or potato, Ottawa. So again, the two T's makes no difference to the pronunciation. It's just Ottawa, okay? And I should mention that um, um, any dictionary that you find will almost never uh, tell you that in North America, English, um, a T is pronounced as a flap. It simply doesn't go into this much detail. Um, so a flap is considered a variety of a T. Um, so most dictionaries will just tell you it's a T. It doesn't tell you what kind of T it is. Okay, that's all for now. See you next time.